Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 30 of the Beginner's Guide 2023. And in the, the last, well, the last two episodes, we've been playing about with some of the new features with the, getting a purge and getting a barkeep and then building the barkeep a tavern so we can start attracting people to, to come to our base. So now we're going to go kind of get back online again. Um, and what I'm wanting to do in this episode is hopefully complete the sorcery. We got the sorcery up to level 10 quite a while ago now, so we could get the elixirs of rebirth. So I think we've got five more levels to go, and I would like to kind of burn through them and get to the last one, which will give us the teleportery stone. So we'll see how we get on, but uh, let, let's kind of get started. Right, so first of all, we have to go to our bench and see what we require for the next level. So we need the tomb, a page, we've got one, two, three, four, we've got five pages and we've got some failed pages, so we we'll, should have enough sorcerer's pages. Demon blood, we need 20 demon blood and we need five sacrificial blood in a flask. So I think we might have that already. So obviously you have to take people and put them on your sacrificial stone that we've got just outside Sepamru, but yep, we've got 12 in here. Let's take five of them. And we can stick them in here and learn the next spell. Craft. So it's Call of Nergal and Abyssal Call. So I think Abyssal Call is in the stone, the circle of power. It is, this one here. So it allows you to, so we need one blood and a flask, 10 demon blood and five human flesh. And we, we summon a demon who will follow us around as a follower and fight for us for a while. And much like the, the horse and the mount, after a while, he'll then turn aggressive and, and turn on us. So, yeah, we've, we've been over that before. Not really going to go into too much detail about that. Let's just go and find out what's next. I kind of want to burn through as fast as we can and get the last episode. And we're going to need bits, that's for sure. Right, so the next one is our first problem. So again, it's 30 more demon blood. So we've got the demon blood, but we need 20 dragon horns. Uh, any dragon horns in here? Nope. What about the chest at the door? Lots of potions, but no dragon horns. None in there. None in there. None in there. Oh, there we go. We've got five. Damn, is that all? Is that all that's in there? Yeah. Anything in here? Mm, let's see. I've got dragon bone in there. We use that for making the dragon bone chest piece. Okay, so we've only got five dragon horns. So we're going to have to go out and get get some more uh, dragon horns. So most of the dragons are in the unnamed city. So I'll go and get Delincia. I'll get some buffs on her, and then we'll head into the unnamed city, and I'll meet you there where we can go looking for some dragons. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so we are at the west entrance to the undead, the unnamed city, sorry. We're coming in this entrance here. That's the sort of jawbone. Sepamaru over there. Um, so there's a couple of little dragons along here, and then obviously underneath this part here, we have the red mother, the big dragon. So let's let's start off by taking out the little ones. You only get one horn from them. There's one over there. You can't get any more than that. It is possible for the Red Mother to drop many more. But what's that's like in Chapter 3? I'm not 100% sure, so we'll have to give it a try. Missed. Right, let's see if we can pull it out of the corruption. Pull it un out of the corruption. These are the hatchlings. Go. 
Come on. Then, um, let's try the skinning knife. Now we've got one dragon horn and a bunch of dragon bone. So, some exotic flesh and some demon blood. So, we'll put that on the horse. Oh, we've we've still got two elephants on the horse. Uh, let's just stick that on. Get on by. We didn't get any leather from that, did we? Even with the skinny knife. Right, there's the second one. Take that one out. down underneath where the Red Mother is based. The big, the big one. Uh, can we get down there? Oh, there's another baby one there. Let's take that one out as well. I don't need to do this because if we get enough off of the bread mother we'll be we'll be sorted. There's the red mother in the distance. Alright, let's put that on here. Three we've got. Let's buff up Delincia because the Red Mother does hit rather hard. Uh, yeah, so open inventory. Let's give her that. Why is it not? Oh, she's eating it. Give her that. Use that. And give her that. Use that. So pork rinds, salted pork, and a grey lotus potion to buff her up with as much uh, strength stuff as possible. Now, the oh, there's another one. Super quick, take that one down. There we go. Right. Give as much weight to the horse as possible. So that's four already. Right, uh, so yeah, that area that is in, you see the purple smoke, that's got lots of a... Uh, oh, we can't get you... So to just move you up here. Come on, horse. We'll just keep you out of the way. We'll just say stop following. Yeah, it's got lots of corruption, so I'm going to pull it out of there into this area here. Here it comes. Go for it. Then it's going to start breathing fire on us. Oh, we seem to want to start with the breathing fire. There we go. Now it's going to do its 360. It kind of rears back on its hind legs. It's going to do it. That was an 826 damage that Delincia did there. for me to get in. It's already down to 30%. I'm stuck in its leg, there we go. Four 
underneath it. Five hundred and forty one, there we go, it's down. Right, so there's an ongoing joke going on with the community. I have never seen the torch, the Red Mother's torch, and right enough, we still don't see it today. We've got a lifeblood spear instead. But we'll take the Grandmaster Kit, we'll take the Fragment of Power, we'll take the Star Metal Bars, and we'll take that. Right, let's see what we get with the Skinning Knife. There's ten Dragon Horn. Any more? So how many is that? That's ten. Yeah, let's go to the horse. Four, so I need one more. Okay, so I will head to where the green dragons are, um, and I will go and get another one, and then I'll meet you back at base. Unless, is there any more? Oh! There's maybe one more. Maybe one just up here. Or over here. Either way, I'll find another baby one, and then I will take that out, and then I'll, I'll see you back at base. Okay, see you soon. Right, we're back at base. So we've got our dragon bone. So we had five before. We've got the other 15 now, which gives us the 20. That's everything we need to do the next spell. Abyssal Bow and Abyssal Maul, okay. So these are demonic weapons that are crafted at the Circle of Power. There we go, there's the bow, and there's the the maul. Uh, so each one of these, so it needs 10 demon blood, the maul needs 10 hardened steel, and the bow needs 10 shaped wood. And there are two weapons that will give you masses of corrupt. I think they'll 50% corrupt you if you use them, but they're really strong, and the bow in particular uses abyssal arrows, which are um, generated automatically, so you don't need loot. Uh, yeah, well, you don't need to craft them, sorry, should I say. They'll just they'll appear automatically. Um, the only thing with them is they have, I think it's called the insatiable buff on them, which means that if you don't use them for, I think it's 60 minutes, they will they will disappear. Uh, or they'll have a 60 minute timer that'll start counting down continuously. And as you kill things, the, um, it'll add time back on the timer. So the, the higher the creature or person that you kill, the higher level you kill, the more timer it'll add. So you have to basically keep killing things with them in order to keep them. So so basically once you've logged off, they'll, they'll disappear. But they're they're really cool weapons, but they will give you fifty percent corruption. So you have to got to go with that sort of glass cannon sorcerer build. Oh, Delincia blocking the door. Get out of the way. Right, what is next? I have a feeling it might be the armor. Right, what that oh it needs black blood. Okay. Right, so we're definitely in the end bit now. The last three items needs black blood. It also needs dragon powder. Right, we'll have to get the dragon powder crafted because we'll have to go and get black blood. Dragon powder is crafted at the cauldron. There it is. It's learned right, right from the very first cauldron. So on this one, it, we need one demon blood, seven brimstone, 37 crystal, and 75 steel fire in order to make one dragon powder and we need 10 so that's 750 a steel fire we're going to need 370 do we have steel we don't have any in there we have 486 in there and we've got a bunch of crystal as well so we'll have all the crystal we need but we're still short on steel fire so we're going to need another another 200 steel fire. Okay, let's get that crafted. Uh, here we go. And then we're going to need 10 of that. So we're going to need 10 demon blood. 
We should have demon blood in here. And I think we should then have everything in there we need to craft what we need. So we can craft 10. Once that, once that steel fire finishes, it'll be enough. So we'll add that to the queue and get 10 dragon powder on the go. It's used for making explosives normally. It's explosive arrows and bombs and stuff like that. But we also need black blood. So black blood is got from... Now, let me get my bearings. It's up here somewhere. There are four caves. The Caves of yes. Jill. Yes, the the, um, there are four different caves, each Some with these sort of harpy heard. kind of creatures in them, I suppose. Bird, bird men type creatures. And the, the boss, there's four bosses, one in each cave. And the boss at the end of the cave, when you chop them up, will give you black blood. So we all need to head up there and go and get some black blood. So that's quite a distance away. So how are you doing for food? You're doing good for food. Okay. Uh, I could do with some water and some food myself. Right, I'm going to head up there and we're going to take on at least one of those caves. Do I have the sorcerers? I do, yep. Right. I will see you when I get there. Okay, welcome back. So we are up here at the first cave, the most southern cave. So we're we're pretty much bang on. Um, is that G and H, nine and ten? We're right on the intersection of both, and we're heading facing into this one, which is going to be right between H nine and ten. And you can just see up there the path that goes up to the cave. Uh, before I do that. I just want to stick down. In fact, we'll actually tell the horse to just stand guard there as well. And we'll just go in with Delincia. So if we come over this ridge, we should start seeing... There we go, these black children of Jill. That do that... That thing the same as the bats do. Where they rise up and flap their wings. Oh, it's been fighting a, a goat. Oh, there's three. So she's getting knocked about. Let's go in and help her out a bit. Out. But you have to be really careful of getting blasted off of the the ledge of the cave, the, the mountains here. You get knocked down there, you're going to be dead. So you can harvest these guys, but they won't give you... They'll give you normal feathers, feral flesh. Eh, there's my skinning knife. Let's skin one of them, see what you get. Yeah, same. So it's only the boss. Oh, you get demon blood. But it's only the boss that's got to give you the... The black blood that we're looking for. Right, we've got to head into the cave. Oh. No, am I in the wrong place? I think I'm in the wrong place. We need to go further south. Oh no, here's the cave. I ran right past it. Here's the cave entrance here. Yeah, that one's got a skull. Did the other ones have a skull? I don't think they did. Die! Is this a corrupted one? Black Child of Jill, so yeah. Let's try and see if we can skin him. Potion of Natural Learning. Steel Fire. Oh. General Glowing Essence, Advanced Armor Repair Kits. These Potion of National, National Learning will reset all your knowledge points. It's really handy, but they've only got a two-minute timer. So they're all going to expire, so let's just throw them out. Don't want that. And may as well keep that and that. Right, so if we go into the cave, you'll find that it gets very, very, very dark indeed. So we could use... Our torch. Do it that way. The other thing you could do is you can use your wisp spells. We right click here. Uh, now, I could never remember where they are. Is that forces of nature? Uh, frozen bridge. No, no, nope. So it's not that one. Let me try that again. Come on, cast. 
life, death, and undeath. Demons. Yeah, life, death, and undeath. Try that one. There we go. Imbues a soul onto their own flesh, illuminating their path. So that means it'll follow us, that one. So it gives not as much light as the torch. However, it does mean that we can hold our shield up. And it will follow us about. It's a bit annoying the way it darts about. Hopefully you can see okay what we're doing. In fact, let me have my, t my torch as well. Alright, so let's... Well, I kind of try and keep out of the way. I will illuminate everything. Here. Up, up here. Yep. I think this is the one that has like a, yeah, like a, a ring. There's some normal ones. And there's also, right in the middle there, you can just see him through the shadow, is the three skull boss. If we could get Delincia to come down here. A bit further, please. Here we go. Take that guy on. Without pulling the, the big guy. So the other one is at the back. So let's get Delincia fighting this one. Oh, where did you come from? There's the big dude. Right. Get him, Dylan. Yep. I'll just stand here and light everything up. I could help out, but Dylan is so tough that she'll be able to sort it out, no problem. And you'll get to see a bit better. So what's this guy called? Go and hit him again, please. Shrouded by darkness. Well, that's a good name for him. Right, he's down. Does he have anything on him? He has a fragment of power. He has the scroll that teaches you specialist ammunition 4. And he has a skeleton key. That's all good. Right, if we chop him up with a pick, we get black blood. As well as other stuff. There's another guy coming. Take him out. How much black blood do we get? We only got 52 from that guy, so I think in total... We, oh, we also got hollow bone arrows. It does a nice amount of damage. 15 damage, oh, that's the same. 15... Oh, but it doesn't have that. The hollow bone has got 54% armor pen. Right, so 54 isn't enough. I think we need 100 altogether. We pulled another one. So we're going to have to go and do the second cave. I didn't want to do all these caves. That's kind of a thing for another video. The the very last one, the boss there, he drops black blood tools. So black blood pick. So it's kind of top of the range. Black blood pick, hatchet, skinning knife, uh, and cleaver. Okay. Oh, you've respawned, have you? Right. So to get to the next one, we just follow the path up. Up we go. Is there? Yeah. Let's take these guys, mountain goats, who can also knock you off. And up this way. We're into the snow now. Be a bit more careful here, so we'll actually have to climb up this bit here. Scoot across here. Ooh, 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 yeah, we made it. Right, this is really dangerous up here, because we're really close to the, to the edge. Is on the right side, so you get knocked into the cliff instead of over it. Right, 
Here's the second cave. Jill's Roost. Here we come. Just so dark in here without any light source at all. Now, of course, before Age of Sorcery, the Wisp option wasn't an option at all. You only had to use your torch. And when Sorcery first came on the go, the Wisp spell lasted for two minutes and required a reagent to cast it. Uh, one of the pouches, so you had to keep recasting it. Oop, teleportation. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. You the wrong fight. Oh well, we're going with Wisp only now because of... <laughs> I've used up my, my torch. I may as well get my shield out after all. Right, we'll keep going in. Another one there. Use health bar before anything else. here, that you go over the bridge. Get on that guy. There we go. Alright, and then we take a right here and kind of work our way back down again. Would be really handy here. Give me a little bit more light. Another normal one. The shield deflects the, the blast of air. Yeah, here we go. This is the three skull boss. Curse you. Can get behind him and do a little bit of attacking. Oh, I don't have my helmet on. Like the bats, there. Wings do kind of clip you from behind as well. There we go, it's down. So he had... Act of Violence. So that's a pretty good act. 71 damage, zero armor pen on it though. But with the Executioner feet on it. And what that means is when anything gets to below 10% or below, any mob you're fighting, one more hit will instantly execute it. So the last 10% goes down in one shot. But really cool. Right, come on. Please give us at least 48 black blood. More hollow bone arrows. Right, there we go. We got exactly what we need. We've got 100 black blood. So that's going to do it. So we could go and do the other caves and get the other stuff. Uh, I think this cave and the third cave is actually interconnected somehow or other, but it's a bit of a maze, and it's really difficult to see because it's so dark. But I'm just going to be here for the Black Blood, so I'm going to head home, and I'll see you back at base, where we can, we can complete the next spell. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we're back home again. So, let's see, we can put our... Black blood into here, and it was 10. So, this is a, a bit of a strange one that you can see that the icons are greyed out if you don't have it. So, it looks like we don't have any black blood. It's just the black blood. The icon itself is so dark and like greyed out that we do actually have it, but it, it doesn't look like it is because it's, it's so dull there. But we don't have the 10, but that should have finished crafting while we were away. 
in here there we go so yeah it was demon blood brimstone crystal and steel fire and we crafted enough of that to make 10 dragon powder take that through dragon powder in craft the new spell Yep, so it is Abyssal Armor. So again, that's also... Oh, let me go. Yep. It's at the Circle of Power. And there is the Abyssal Armor. So you'll summon that in with three heavy paddings, a ten demon blood, and one sacrificial blood in a flask. And it'll give you a set of armor like this set here. It's a really good set of armor. It, it, I think it's heavy armor, but it's like really light, gives you decent bonuses, but it is that insatiable, so that you have to, you'll, you'll be corrupted by 50% with it, um, with this kind of set, uh, and you have to keep killing people in order to increase, keep the timer ticking for allow the, the armor to exist, and if it runs out, it disappears. If, again, if you're going for a sorcerer build, that uh, sorcerer's armor is absolutely fantastic. Right, next one needs more black blood, so another 30. And it needs five fragments of power. So luckily, we've been collecting quite a lot of fragments of power over our playthrough. We've got 42 now. There's the five we need. We'll put them in here. Craft a spell. Right, Lightning Storm. So, Lightning Storm is another, I, I guess it's more of a PvP thing again. Um, like the spells we've cast them before that cast a, an area of darkness around you. It casts an area where you've got to get lightning coming down. And uh, so you have a big area, you cast a spell, lightning will come down and it'll take out I mean, it'll take out mobs, it'll take out um, animals that are in the area, it'll even take out like trees. So, and, But it's kind of more random, not that specifically targeted at like a lightning spell, a target or something. It's just an area effect spell. But uh, yeah, again. Sorcery spells are not my thing. It doesn't doesn't really do it for me. But this means we have one more spell left. And that requires 50 black blood. So the 100 black blood was exactly what we needed. 20 for the first one, 30 for the second one, 50 for this one. But we also need 100 witchfire powder. So witchfire powder can be crafted. Is it crafted in here? Or maybe you haven't learned it actually can't remember how you how you learn it now it can be crafted but i find the easiest way to get it is to harvest white and if you harvest them with the sickle you'll get the most so there are the glowing blue whites that patrol in sort of this area of the unnamed city you can get them from there but what i found the best drop rate is the whites that patrol around the outside of mounds of the dead so around around these parts here um, and round this side here the you'll get the blue gl and in fact there's a couple just as you come out of here there's a couple here if you if you take them on and harvest them with a sickle you can get tons and tons of uh, white uh, witch fire powder but you also just find it off of mobs and i've managed to pick up 224 just off of random mobs and drops with a new loot system in Age of War, you get Witchfire Powder quite easily. So I've already got a bunch of that. I put them in the right right chest. Yeah. Uh, was that it all? That was it all. Yeah, so craft that. go so last and by no means least in fact probably one of the better ones is 
the transportery stone. So if we go to crafting stations and go to sorcery, we have... Oh, it's not under sorcery. What? Oh, it's under special. Okay, it's been moved. Why is it not under sorcery when it's a sorcery spell? But there it is, transportery stone. So that needs 200 brick, 100 silver bars, 100 alchemical base, and 3 torches. So let me go and gather all that materials together, and we'll go and get one of them crafted up. And I'll bring you back soon. Right. Here we are in our sorcery room now. So I've moved the shallow graves out of the area to give me a bit of space. And there we go. We can get the teleportery stone up. Let's put it about there. Oh, of course, we need to activate it though. So there's an ingredient to so extinguish and ignite. So we need three blood in a flask and 50 brimstone. So we've got three bud there. Can throw that in there. I'll just need to nip downstairs and get some brimstone. One thousand seven hundred in here. One thousand seven hundred. Always forget about that. And then back in here. Stick that in, and then cast the ignite, which will activate the stone. The glyphs are now glowing. There we go. That's it activated. Right, so the only problem with a teleportery stone is you need somewhere to teleport to. Which means you need another teleportery stone somewhere else on the map. And you can have... I don't know if there's a limit, but you can have lots of these stones all over the map. And what will happen, every other stone you create, a little rock will appear floating in the area with the name of the teleportery stone, and you can click on that rock to teleport there, so you can have lots and lots of them. But we haven't got anywhere to teleport to yet, so what we need to do is, on our next adventure, when we go somewhere exciting, we will take the, the materials that we need to craft a second teleportery stone, and we'll set it up over there, and uh, we'll get it, get it up and running, start our, our network of teleportery stones. Um, you can see that just creating that and igniting that give me a little bit of corruption, but teleporting gives you a lot of corruption, and you get more corruption the further you teleport across the map. So what you'll also need is a dancer at each teleportery stone to help cleanse you of corruption when you get there. So our dancer Luba is currently employed at the, the tavern across the way there, so We'll either, we'll probably have to get ourselves another dancer just to hang about here, and then another one to take with us to place at the other end to cleanse us when we get to the other end. But, that will do for today. The objective of today was to complete the, the rest of sorceries in order to get to this point and activate the teleportery stone. So that's, that's exactly what we wanted to accomplish, and the next time we'll go out on a, a further adventure and make another one so we can teleport straight back again. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.